Hello, my name is Aaron Powers. I'm the Global Product Manager for Maxess, responsible for Tidlin slitting and winding equipment. We're here in our Camas Washington factory. We're gonna do a quick walkthrough on how to set up our adjust a bode roll product. So we have uh, an adjust a roll here set up in some mounts. Right now the mounts are, the bolts are, are threaded, but they're not tight. They're loose so that we can get the adjustment that we need. Um, the roll on both ends has an arrow. Uh, so there's a sticker on one end uh, that points to the direction that the bow uh, will happen as it turns. On the other end, um, we have a sticker you can kind of see here, but then there's also engraved on the end, there's an arrow. So if those stickers were to come off, you have this arrow to tell you the direction of the bow. Okay, so you're gonna want to measure your bow from some reference point. Um, we're going to use the floor here, um, but you could use any any linear reference. So to show you, uh, we've done an advance calculated. We need uh, 33 inches from the floor uh, of the, the bow angle that we want to set. So right now it's, it's not bowed, it's at 32. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start turning uh, the end with, you know, use a crescent wrench, hold um, the, the shaft part fixed, and then your lead screw you're going to rotate. You don't want to rotate too many times, uh, maybe only one or, or or so revolutions, especially on the shorter ones. You can see this bowing um, as we as we go here, until we are um, just about at uh, 33. And we're getting up there, and good, close enough. All right. Um, then the the last step in the process is once you have your bow angle set. Um, we've oriented it so that it was at top dead center, but if you wanted your bow uh, to be uh, at a different clock position, you know, you would rotate it to the clock, clock position that you need in the machine. And then once that's done, tighten your mounts on both sides. Okay. We just showed adjusting the bow amount and the bow direction at the same time. If you're only adjusting the bow amount, you would start a little differently. You would, on the far end, uh, leave these bolts tight. Uh, then go over to the adjusting end, loosen the adjusting end only first, make your adjustment with the wrench just as we did before, and then uh, uh, once that's set, tighten the adjusting end back down. Then come over to your far end, loosen these bolts uh, and that'll allow the roll axis to align in the mount and, uh, and set. Then finally tighten those bolts back down. So we hope that you found this video helpful. For more information, please contact your local representative or call us at 1844 Maxis.